Hey everyone, my name is Tenny Takahashi. I'm a product marketing manager in the WebEx Calling team. Today we're here with a special guest, Fernando Olivieri. He's a product manager in the WebEx Audio AI team. Fernando, how are you? Hi, Tenny. All good. And you? I'm great. Fernando, I'd love to hear about yourself and what you do here at WebEx. Absolutely, Tenny. So I'm a product manager in the WebEx AI Audio Under the Collab team. So we work on uh, audio technology, AI-based audio technology for WebEx. Our objective is simple, is to bring the best experience to WebEx customers uh, anytime they experience audio. So basically all the time. And Fernando, I understand you're here to tell us about a brand new WebEx feature called HD Voice. Yeah, absolutely. So HD Voice is the, one of the latest uh, innovations that came from our team. It aims to solve a really significant uh, problem uh, with, within this, this, the field of audio communication. So every time we pick up the phone, uh, we are likely use, using the uh, public switched telephone network, also called the PSTN. Uh, typically, the PSTN supports narrowband audio. What it means is a stripped down version of the full spectrum that we would normally um, experience when we have either a, a conversation in real life or a wideband audio conversation like the one we are having right now. So what it means is that the narrowband audio doesn't really capture all the nuances of our speech and typically results in uh, low intelligibility or rather lower intelligibility. If we add background noise on top of that, well, things can be pretty harsh. And so HD Voice uh, aims to solve both issues. So on one hand, we remove background noises from uh, narrowband calls, and we also extend the spectrum uh, using AI uh, to basically reproduce some of the nuances that would help with speech intelligibility. So the net result is uh, noisy narrowband audio becomes clean wideband audio. And of, of course, this uh, uh, improves speech intelligibility and in turn productivity. Really cool. That sounds like it'd be a super valuable feature for WebEx calling users that spend a lot of their time making calls to external parties over the PSDN, such as customers or partners or suppliers. Uh, does that sound right? Yeah, that's exactly right. And this is a, um, a significant portion of our WebEx calling volume. So that's actually a, a, an issue that our WebEx calling customers are likely to experience uh, often. Great to hear. And I understand you have a demo for us as well, Fernando. Yeah, let's let's look at it. Hi there. I was calling about an issue with my online bank account. I was trying to pay the application fee for a tourist visa using my bank account, but the payment didn't go through. Hi there. I was calling about an issue with my online bank account. I was trying to pay the application fee for a tourist visa using my bank account, but the payment didn't go through. Well, really interesting demo. You could really hear that difference between the original audio sample and HD voice. Fernando, could you tell us what was kind of going on behind the scenes in each one of those samples? Yeah, so we have we have a so-called A-B demo, uh, where the A part of the demo, the initial part of the demo, is a narrowband call, like a representation of what a narrowband call might sound like. So there is also some background noise. And then we switch to the HD voice processed version of the call. So again, same input signal, but processed with HD voice. And hopefully you could, you could really hear the improvement because we removed the background noise and we also made the speech sound clearer, which is what we would experience when you add some portion of the spectrum back to the, to the original audio. It becomes more intelligible, that is. Now, Fernando, I'm not a audio scientist, but when I take a look at those spectrograms, it does seem like they're very different between the original audio sample and HD voice. Tell us what we're looking at visually with those samples. Yeah, that's a, that's a good question. So let's try and break it down. Um, so the first one, which is the first spectrum, which is typically the, the one, the, 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 this colorful elements on the screen, it shows a spectrum up to four kilohertz. Right, which is typical of narrowband calls. Uh, you might actually say that the human voice uh, covers the spectrum up to 20K. So again, we, with narrowband call, we capture only the 4K uh, portion of it, and there is an extra uh, 16K that are, not, that are lost. HD voice, what it does, it actually reconstructs portion of the spectrum between 4K and 8K. 
And this, of course, improves the speech intelligibility by making the sound more natural and thus capturing some of the nuances of our speak, speech that can uh, help us distinguish between, for example, co certain consonants and so forth, right? This, in addition to the removal of background noise, provides a better experience where the sound is way more intelligible than it was in the original narrowband call. Cool. Well, Fernando, that was a great demo. It was really interesting how you could both hear the difference between original audio and HD voice, as well as see the difference in the spectrograms. I'm sure all of our WebEx customers are very excited about this feature. What products will HD Voice appear in and when? Yeah, Tani, absolutely. So we this technology HD Voice is suitable for several WebEx workflows. Uh, we're going to start with WebEx calling and meetings. So incoming calls will be uh, processed by HD Voice. Uh, that is, in, uh, narrowband incoming calls will be processed with HD Voice. Um, we're starting with WebEx calling beta in November with general availability uh, early next year. Uh, for WebEx calling customers, this will be available at no extra fee as long as you have a valid uh, WebEx calling license. Um, in the future, we're going to bring it to other uh, workloads such as contact center. Uh, but that's, you know, stay tuned. We're going to bring it to more workflows as, uh, as early as next year. Well, Fernando, thanks so much for taking the time to join us here today. It was great to have you on. Impressive demo. And thanks, everyone, for taking the time to watch. Bye. Thank you, Danny. Likewise. Bye.